Hey horse pros. So today I want to talk to you about reframing the way we think of marketing. Hey, and thanks for joining me. I'm Cerise Bernson with Horse Biz Success and Horse Biz Automated, where we help horse industry professionals create a profitable and meaningful business that they truly love. Now, as I've said in previous videos, a lot of people think about marketing as essentially a dirty word. And if we think about it in a slightly different way, something that's maybe more relatable to us as horse lovers, maybe we can flip that script a little bit. So we at Horse Biz Success were talking in one of our meetings about, you know, how to talk to you all about marketing in a way that makes sense. And it's so easy for horse pros to slip into that mode rather than dealing with the human side of things. So what if we thought about attracting clients in terms of building an ideal herd of prospective clients? So if we think about it from a horse trainer's perspective or a horse breeder's perspective or a horse enthusiast who's trying to just accumulate this amazing group of horses that they want to work with day in and day out, it maybe becomes a little bit easier, right? So how are we going to do this? We're going to do this from our three stage approach. And what that looks like is First, we're gonna think about it from a socializing point of view, and we'll get more into that. Then we're gonna talk about the bonding stage of building a herd. And then once that herd is starting to become established, the training phase with the individuals in the herd, okay? So today I wanna to talk specifically about the first stage, which is the socializing stage. And that we can break down into three simple steps. The first one is going to be defining dreams. The second is going to be sharing space. And the third is going to be integrating. So what is this about defining dreams? Now, it sounds a little bit nebulous, but bear with me. So if you think about it in terms of building this dream herd, right? If the clients you're trying to attract are actually horses, and it doesn't matter if you're a body worker or a farrier or a trainer or a coach. You've all worked with horses, so you know the types of horses, the personalities, the body types, the age ranges, all of the quote unquote demographics, which is a marketing term, uh, within those horses that you work best with. And you also have behavioral characteristics that you mesh best with and are best suited to help. So that's what the defining dream step is all about. It's about identifying who you can best help with your services in an authentic and joyful way that means you're gonna get out of bed every day and race to the barn or race to the truck and be like, yes, I get to work with all of these amazing individuals within my herd, okay? So why is this step important? You know, if this sounds familiar to you, this is, this is key for you. You are finding that you are exhausted trying to be everything to every potential client. And by potential client, I mean anybody that walks through the door that has a horse that is interested in your potential services, right? If you are unclear on what makes your best clients happiest, about working with you. You need to define the dreams. And you might find that you're blinded by expert-induced amnesia. Now I hear you saying, Cerise, what is expert-induced amnesia? It basically means that you are too close to the issue at hand to see the forest for the trees, right? So when a new client comes to you, they're gonna to come to you and say, I'm struggling with my canter departures or, or my horse just keeps tripping and I don't know why or every once in a while he comes up lame and I don't know what to do about it. That's the problem. It's not the dream. And in order to 
really resonate with your ideal client, you need to understand the dream that is motivating them coming to you for the specific issue, right? So what does that mean? That basically means that you might know what they need for the problem, but if you're trying to cast the net out, so to speak, and find these ideal clients to build your herd with, you have to speak to them from wherever they are because they don't know you exist. And you have to start by showing them that you understand their dreams. And in order to understand their dreams, you have to understand what your dreams are as t in terms of a business owner, in terms of a service provider, and who you want to serve in that capacity. So our next step is sharing space. Now, when you go and get a new horse, how do you integrate them into a herd? Do you just pull them off the trailer and throw them in the paddock and hope for the best? No, if you're strategic and conscientious about it, you're going to have them share space next to each other without throwing them into the mix and overwhelming them, right? It's the same thing with your potential ideal clients. The whole idea behind the sharing space step is that after completing the defining dream step where you really tune into what it is that drives and motivates your clients to pursue working with you or that would drive them to do that is that you use the information that you've come up with to show up for your ideal clients and to start building a relationship with them in the space where they currently reside. Now, when I talk about that, I'm actually talking about going and meeting them where they are in avenues like social media, on platforms. Um, and yes, this is talking about content creation and how to do so in a way that is energy efficient for you but that really lets you show up for them in a way that starts to build curiosity and resonate with them and help them to see that you understand uniquely who they are as horse owners and that you understand the dreams and goals they have with their horse and that you are there to help them. Now, this doesn't mean going back to the defining dream stage that you're going to show up as the solution for everyone. It means that you are going to show up as the solution, the leader of the herd for that ideal herd and that ideal herd only, which means that if they're not meant to be part of your herd, your message isn't going to be received by them. And ultimately that's what you want because the name of the game is only attracting the people that are on your dream list that you have defined as your ideal client. Now, the third step is going to be the integrating step. And this is going to help you turn followers that love your content into subscribers that want to have more connection and a benefit driven relationship with you. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean that that you will create a free transaction that takes them from following you on social media to engaging with you outside of social media and joining your email list because ultimately your email list is where you nurture that relationship with those ideal clients and eventually guide them through the process so that they purchase from you and then you can continue that process of nurturing them and building that rapport in the herd, so to speak, so that when you have more things to offer them and ask them to make a purchase, you have built up that rapport and that emotional relationship with them where they're eager to have that transaction with you because they know the ultimate outcome is going to be beneficial for them. So I hope that this introduction to shifting the way you think about marketing into terms of building your ultimate client herd is helpful. 
If it is, let me know in the comments. I'll be following up shortly with videos two and three, where we go into the next stages, the bonding stage and the training stage, and I'll be breaking those down a little bit for you too. Don't worry, these are just the introductory videos, and I'm gonna be going deeper into each step in subsequent videos also, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and follow along for more.